Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the MCHD Paramedic Podcast 360. I'm Dr. Rob Dixon. Today, I have our Associate Medical Director, Dr. Casey Patrick, with me. Hello, everyone. So today, guys, we're going to talk about alternative devices to deliver albuterol. Albuterol being our one largest nebulized medication for respiratory illness. We give it to patients with asthma, reactive airways that are wheezing. Uh, and given the COVID-19 pandemic and the inherent risk we have with aerosolizing uh, droplets, whenever we use a regular nebulizer, MCHD is making a switch to an alternative method. This is what the finished product looks like. Very simple, and Dr. Patrick's gonna show you how to make one with the kit that most of us have. This is our kit, our regular nebulized kit that we have at MCHD now. See, we're gonna move from nebulized albuterol to albuterol via a meter dose inhaler. And as you know, with most meter dose inhalers, we use spacers. So we're gonna work with things that we already have in our kit. We're gonna start with a mask and Use the mask as you would before, but instead of hooking this up and using the tubing to connect to the nebulizer, we're going to take the tubing and insert on the mask as we did before, and then use the meter dose inhaler to attach. So it makes a snug fit on both ends. The mask is on the patient. Remember, in Pandemic times, this patient's likely to have a mask on their face, so you'll just want to remove it for medication administration. If they're receiving oxygen, that can be continued via nasal, nasal cannula. If they've got a non-rebreather on, that will have to be removed in order to administer the medicine and then place back on once the patient uh, gets the albuterol. Each meter dose puff of medication is 200 micrograms, so our protocol is going to be for eight puffs. Yes. So eight administrations and then that will be able to be repeated one time. So it'll be two doses of 1.6 milligrams of albuterol. Remember that the mask has two holes on the side, so we're gonna use our ECG electrodes to cover those. So you wanna peel those off and just stick those over the hole. Again, all of this is an effort to prevent aerosolization spread of uh, the COVID virus. So that's what the finished product looks like. As we know, this is not affecting children at nearly the rate that it's affecting adults. So this is an adult mask. If you have to use a pediatric mask, if this is a pediatric patient, uh, the same fit applies with the pediatric mask. All right. So thanks for watching MCHD Paramedic Podcast 360. As always, we'll be back with future episodes. Uh, like us, leave us a thumbs up. If you have questions or concerns, leave them in the comments and we'll talk to everyone again soon.